Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Everlova Castle Lovers Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, I would like to remind you all to read your Bible every day. As the Lord Jesus Christ is coming very soon. He is coming very, very, very soon, guys. <clears throat> As you can see, around the world is getting darker. It means he is coming very soon. So get ready for that event. So if you'd like to know if you're qualified to be in heaven, if you want to know his great promises for your life, his plans for your life, what is our timeline now for his coming, all you have to do, guys, is to open your Bible and apply His words every day. That's a choice, guys. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. But without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. You will go to hell, not in purgatory, but in hell. And then, these are God's words, guys, that i been... Uh, Posting on my Facebook page and I I'm trying to do my best to um, Work on to those Hopefully I will not gonna have a very 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 hectic schedules. God knows I am a very busy woman, but anyways um, <clears throat> I just posted more guest words on my Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash adrenlb. <clears throat> so guys, I have a word for you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, hey, I have some allergy. All right. <clears throat> okay, this is God's word letter A. Again, God's word letter A. The Holy Spirit spoke to me last May 1st, 2023. Say so the title of this message is the difference between, again, the difference between wisdom and knowledge. Reference, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Noun, wisdom. Definition. Is that, number one is the ability to discern inner qualities and relationships. Insight, that's another, wor another uh, word of <clears throat> wisdom. Insight means good sense or judgment. Another letter C is, another meaning is generally accepted belief. Example is challenges what has become accepted wisdom among many historians. That's from Robert Darnton. Letter D. Accumulated philosophical or scientific learning knowledge. Okay, number two meaning is a wise attitude, belief, or course of action. Number three is the teachings of the ancient wise men. Okay. Synonyms. Synonyms are the same meaning like common sense, discreetness, discretion, gumption mean, mean, means chiefly dialect, horror sense, level-headedness, again, level-headedness, nows or chiefly British, policy, prudence, sense, sensible, wit, and then antonyms, the opposite of wisdom, <clears throat> imprudence, inadvisability, inexperience, inexpediency, injudiciousness, wisdom. Okay. Okay. 
Reference with another reference, Merriam Webster Dictionary. Now we're going to go to knowledge. Knowledge is a noun. Definition is number one A. The fact or condition of knowing something with familiarity, again, familiarity gained through experience or association. Number two, acquaintance with or understanding of science, art, or technique. B, number one, is the fact or condition of being aware of something. Next is number two, the range of one's information or understanding. Example is answer to the best of my again answer to the best of my knowledge. There is C circumstance or condition of apprehending truth or fact through reasoning. Cognition. A person of unusual knowledge. That's the example. Then the number two. 2A is the person this uh the sum of what is known body the body of truth information and principles acquired by humankind Barchan a branch of learning number three Akai Okay don't worry about it <laughs> I'm not gonna read this Okay Continue, guys. All right. The synonyms, guys. Advertence, advertency, attention, awareness, cognizance, consciousness, ear, eye, head, mindful, note, notice, observance, observation. Antonyms. Ignorance, illiteracy, illiterateness. All right. <clears throat> Another reference is www.gotquestions.org. Question is, what is the difference? Again, what is the difference between wisdom and knowledge? The answer from this blogger. Wisdom and knowledge, both recurring themes in the Bible, are related but not synonymous. The dictionary defines wisdom as the ability to discern or judge what is true, right, or lasting. Knowledge, on the other hand, is information gained through experience, reasoning, or acquaintance. Knowledge can exist without wisdom, but not the other way around. One can be knowledgeable without being wise. Knowledge is knowing how to use a gun. Wisdom is knowing when to use it and when to keep it holstered. God wants us to have knowledge of him and what he expects of us. To obey him, we have to know. We have to know the. Oh, sorry, guys. Again. Okay, to obey him, we have to know the commands. But as equally important as knowing is having wisdom. Knowing facts about God and the Bible is not all there. Is to hold on, guys. Okay, knowing facts about God and the Bible is not all there to wisdom. Wisdom is a gift from God. James chapter 1 verse 5 states, 
if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God blesses us with wisdom for us to glorify Him and use the knowledge we have of Him. The book of Proverbs is perhaps the best place in the Bible to learn of biblical wisdom. Proverbs 1 or chapter 1 verse 7 speaks of both biblical knowledge and wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. To fear to fear the Lord is to start on the path to knowledge, and God can begin to provide us with wisdom through Christ. Through Christ, who the Bible says is wisdom itself. It is because of Him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God. That is, our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. That is uh, from the first from the book of First Corinthians, chapter one, verse thirty. Knowledge is what is gathered over time through study of the scriptures. It can be said that wisdom in turn acts properly upon that knowledge. Wisdom is the feeding application of knowledge. Knowledge understands the light has turned red. Wisdom applies the brakes. Knowledge sees the quicksand. Wisdom walks around it. Knowledge memorizes, again, knowledge memorizes the Ten Commandments. Wisdom obeys them. Knowledge learns of God. Wisdom loves Him. And the Word says, Get wisdom from God through the Holy Spirit by your different experiences in life that's the word yes if you have never received jesus christ as your lord your god and your savior today is the day of your salvation don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you you may gonna die today or tomorrow without jesus christ you will go to hell not purgatory but in hell all you have to do is to repent invite jesus christ as your lord your god and your savior and then promise him to follow him for the rest of your life you can pray your own simple prayer you can pray along with a simple prayer here you go Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer, or you prayed along with this, are you, if you prayed the simple prayer, or you prayed your simple prayer, that's what I mean, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life, but if you are still rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, you get in your Savior, according to the Bible. In the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.